Good afternoon, my name is Jacob Provost. Um, I'm a student here at Da Vinci Design and I'm going to be presenting my POLs for both English 10 and World History. I'm going to start with English. Um, my thesis, um, Guy Montag is a fireman who in, who in the beginning is passionate about his work but he soon starts to question himself and begins to change his view his views on books and his questions. But, um, my first piece of evidence uh, is from a quote. Heresy, he said, because the silence had length lengthened, is nothing but perfume to me. Um, this quote shows how he loves his work because his job, because um, kerosene is um, associated with perfume, which is a pleasant smell, which shows that he's in love with every aspect of his job, including the smell. Um, another quote We don't get over anxious or mad. We let the fireman keep the book for 24 hours. If he hasn't burned it by then, we simply come and burn it for him. This is um, on tap, but asking what happens to firemen who keep books at the beating. And um, this is um, him, he's curious uh, because he kept the book, and I think he knows Beatty knows by asking that question. And this is him wanting to learn more about books, but also learning about consequences of his um, This quote, at, and then he was a shrieking blaze, a jumping, sprawling, gibbering mannequin, no longer human, or no, all riven flames on the on the lawn as Montag shot one continuous pulse of liquid fire at on him. This is when B is going to arrest Montag, but um, he he like he learned about the books and he wants he doesn't like that no books are legal and he's um that's after he began to think for himself and in a rash decision he for his his first impulse was to set him on fire. Okay. Good afternoon, Ms. Chinese. This is my presentation of learning for world history. Um, I did mine on essential skill three, the Industrial Revolution. Um, the Industrial Revolution changed material production, wealth, labor patterns, and population distribution. Although many rural areas remain farming communities, during this time the lives of people in cities changed drastically. Um, first evidence here is that his urbanization. And during the 19th century, there was a large population increase due to um, agricultural improvements in, in the 18th century. Um, at that time also, inventions were Inventions of machines were being made and factories were being built in the city and due to the large population increase a lot of people moved to the city and took jobs in factories and then the growth of the overpopulation of cities led to poor bad living conditions and this dictate shows living conditions during And then life, factory life, and then working conditions inside factories were far from ideal. Early factories were extremely dangerous and injuries were common. Um, there were zero protection laws or labor laws protecting the lives of the workers and 
two images showing all the exposed parts and how crowded the factories were and danger. And then unions. Um, the, um, the deplorable conditions in early industrial times led to groups of people to band together in an effort to gain rights or improve conditions. Um, the unions fought for improved working conditions, and the um, unions back then paved the way for labor unions that are still around today, the more familiar today. Um, can you think of like the one? Okay. One is one. Right. Do you think of pictures can you just talk to me about a little bit about the negative effects of the pollution? Yeah. Um, with the um, increase of factories, um, there was an increase in um, pollution, which is shown in all the smog from all the factories, and um, pollution effects. A lot of things, for instance, the water supply and rain becomes polluted because of all the smog in the air. And then the uppermost picture shows the houses very tightly packed together and the amount of people living in a small area, which um, is unsanitary because plumbing was an issue as well as diseases spreading really quickly through person to person. Do you want to hear the geography? Uh, I put source search. two independent clauses and they both can stand alone as a sentence, separate into ideas. presentation was the date because ninth, I mean 1898 was the American Spanish American War, and then um, it's a, an eagle over the United States. It's um, protecting it, like its property. No, it's um, and uh, the line at the bottom, 10,000 miles from tip to tip, is the eagle's wing. I think it's referring to the eagle's wingspan in the picture, which is also what land it's hovering over, which is the United States and the surrounding islands, Hawaii and then Cuba on the other side. And then, my thesis. Yeah. Okay. Um, according to the image above, the United States gained its power through the Spanish-American War. This is shown by the date, 1898. The eagle, which is a national symbol, is shown guarding over the United States and the surrounding islands. It's protecting its property. This is shown by the date. Is they feel like this. That's your argument from the rest of the analysis. Yeah. Okay. Would you say that vague or specific? Vague. Okay. Because. 
says we want to support your thesis, so we're talking about the United States, we're talking about the Hockey Power, we're talking about the Spanish American Court. So we need to look at that cartoon and figure out what we need to talk about before it goes to the end. So you're including the date, the good, what would be a say something about the United States, okay, and power. So how, what shows power here? Um, the eagle, because it's a, it's a, it's the national symbol and it gives a sense of pride. Okay. Those. So what if we say for evidence, like according to the cartoon, what? According to the image above, the, the eagle, is shown in a uh, eagle is shown in a powerful. <laughs> okay, so you have a okay, so yeah. an eagle representing a uh, national pride. Okay, what country is it representing? The United States. The United States is. The United States is. Combining the words. So surrounding islands, it's protecting its property owner culture. Okay. Really yeah. So let's think about the why. Why does the eagle want to gain power? Why does the United States want to gain power? I know. More power means you can't be taken over, taken over by other countries. Okay. You can compete with others. Multi-time. 